Hello, welcome to the Full Circle Podcast. This is the first one of the day in the world. You're the fuck is good, man. It's your boy Bugs with the Full Circle Podcast. My boy Craig Lynch. Yeah, Craig Lynch, Jersey. So, man. um, I just want to give a little rundown why we're in a rundown ass room. This is the room me and the only way I used to practice in. Okay. This so, is the um, jam room. This is- so today we're having a, a little goodbye barbecue to this house where we created our album and shit. Fine. So I wanted to capture a convo with someone who says they love the band so much and shit like that. Oh, yeah. So if you hear noise, music, let it go. If you hear, see some weird shit, some people pop in, that's just what it is today. I wanted to capture whatever today is. You know what I mean? So that being said, this is my brother Craig Lynch. We go yeah. way the fuck back. He was in one of the first ciphers I did, the Berlin cipher. Shh. Way, way, way back, man. So, uh, so tell the people who you are, man. Yeah, man, Craig Lynch, Jersey. Um, I'm here, man. Rap lines matter. I knew Bugs for a long time. And, you know, like he said, cypher shit. You know, that's the stuff we grew up in. Um, you know, and I definitely grew and improved as the older I got, which is crazy. So, But, yeah, we here, man. I'm here. Craig Lynch, Jersey. Look out for me. Thanks, man of the house, dude. man. I'm here. So, Corona. Uh, so, dude, we, so we've done so much shit, bro. Oh, we, my God. We, it's, been, it's been a Countless. long time coming. And uh, I knew the whole point of the ciphers was for me to decide who I really wanted to fuck with and collab with, do shows with, mm-hmm. continue to bring on along for the ciphers with whatever I was going to do with them, mm-hmm. which I still plan on fucking doing because mm-hmm. that shit is just a full never ending spinning circle as far as that goes. It just evolves. But, um, but I knew I wanted to continue to stay with these people who actually have the art and the science of hip hop lyricism. Because with the ciphers, when I started them, everybody was a monster on SoundCloud and had blah, blah, blah. This is right when SoundCloud started. And I was like, nah, you need to come have a barbecue vibe, hang out with us and rap in front of the camera. Show us what your skill is. So I knew from the jump that linking up with you out in Berlin and those motherfuckers would have been a good one. We had like Dre Dennis, a couple other people in that joint. Oh yeah, shout out to Dre. J Dot, everybody, man. That was a a crazy cypher, dude. And at that time, it was crazy. So (laughs) so I'm saying that to say this, we, um, I made it a point to keep a solid friendship with the motherfuckers that have a connection to the other realm of lyricism, like I was just saying. You know how... To say whatever the fuck you want to say and get it across. So, yeah. like, who was your major influences on that growing up? Uh, definitely Styles P. Um, Joe Budden. I was a big fan of him. Like, pretty much, he's going to say what he wants to say. It's a freedom of speech, you know, and that's how I live by, you mm-hmm. know. I just like to put it in Speaking rhyme form, man. Speaking of freedom of speech. Let's put it in rhyme form. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm big, I'm big <laughs> on this shit. Right side, strong side, man. Facts, and that's a that's actually a part of the reason we're fucking rappers too. There's a there's a form of pro. When we started, and I've said it sounds like it's so long ago, but it really isn't. When we started, this shit was a form of protest. Whatever your story was, whether if it was about a female, uh, your teacher, or some shit, Sick. smoking weed, whatever it was, you were telling telling some shit, and obviously it pro- progressed into melodic shit, but somehow along the lines of that. To me, the talent got taken away. But yeah. at that same time, I'm learning that, oh my God, Snoop and everybody had writers. And it kind of just completely fucked me up and made me have so much more respect, self respect, and respect for a motherfucker like you yeah. and the people that I choose to work with. Because I'm a, I'm a perfectionist. And like I said, sure. there's a lot of weird shit that goes on with people and things and relationships. But no one can change the fact that you get into that zone, that pocket that no one else can. So it's, I just wanted to thanks. commend you on that shit. Thanks, really. man. I just appreciate to say. that, bro. Just I wanted to doubt. say. That's, that's real love. You're, you're fired for that. Is Thank what you, I'm bro. Saying. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, I got a lot more coming, man. That's all I can say is I'm just going to keep, I'm just prove Bugs thought. Uh, of the way I'm going about things, man. That's my goal, you know? Fuck yeah. For the people, man, so. Good shit. I'm ready. So I have a couple questions I want to ask you. We're just going to free ball this bitch. Um, what, uh, what's your favorite memory from the New York Cypher? The five point show. Oh, man, five points. To give points. A, little, a little background, we, we took a school bus full of 30 rappers to New York from New Jersey. Met at the Cherry Home Mall parking lot. Yep. Went, went to... <laughs> New York City, Five Points, which is pretty much whitewashed now. It was the graffiti mecca of America, pretty much. 
And we did a cipher with the motherfuckers out there, and it was fire. So Bro. I remember that's like a moment I'll never forget. Wow. So like, what's, no, yeah. Uh, just the whole meeting up with people. First off, shout out to my man Mozzie. Uh, <laughs> seeing, ran Mozzie. into him right away. You know what I'm saying? Uh, ran into Moz, and uh, he was like, You guys here for the cipher? And I said, yeah. So right in that moment, I'm in the like. In lunchroom, right? Yep. And then we run into Jimmy D's. Rest in peace, Jimmy. Mm -hmm. Bro God. Run into Jimmy. Bro God's a fucking day, bro. Facts. So we run into Jimmy that day. And uh, he was like, yeah, I'm here to rap too. We're young, man. You know? Mm -hmm. We get on a bus. We see bugs in a bus, you know? <laughs> like <laughs> memories, man. And just, you know, I'm, I'm sitting there drinking on the bus. I don't know. We that weren't, was so, so I know we weren't supposed to, but I was the guy to do it, man. I'm, yeah, I'm dude, ratting well, that, on myself now. That's the thing, like. <laughs> When I started rapping, it was like, obviously, I wanted to be the dope lyricist. That was a big part of it. But I wanted to pick a profession where I could party at any moment. Yeah. And it would benefit what I'm doing. Like oh, yeah. Sports, you can't just party and, like, you have nah. to work out and train and shit. And yeah. I was a little a little better shape. But straight up, I wanted to party and have fun and dance and rage. That's why I love throwing shows, ciphers. Yeah. And oh, shit my God. that brings people together. Definitely. So man. the fact... That we were all, well, we were only like nineteen at the time, yeah, young, young, and we were on a school little, bus, yeah. raging, smoking blunts, and not, it's not like it what is now. Like marijuana just got legalized. Yeah, but you couldn't bro, do that now. You couldn't even get a bus now. You know. No, yeah. But like my a, memories of the cipher was just showing up, vibing with people. I don't know. I mean, I met a chick from Canada out there. Oh yeah. You know, yeah, and I'm I'm sitting there rapping. I just had a blast. I partied in the middle of New York, mm -hmm. and we spit bars. Everybody did their thing. It was it was great to hear everybody rapping. I met so many people. I was chilling, man. That was a great time, bro. I was that, was, that was crazy. And the group of people that were there were just perfect. They were supposed to be there. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'll That's how I'm feeling I'll about that. I'll never forget that. Like, we were supposed to do it one more time, and we didn't do it. And I just feel like a piece of shit because of it. Because it's such an awesome opportunity that not many people hey, have. Man. And whatever hey. they're playing out there right now, y'all are fucking killing it. Go back. Yeah. Well, no, oh. it's, it's not there anymore. Not there anymore. It's okay. Whitewash. Yeah, it got bought out. I think it's actually being turned into. Yeah. Um, well, you know, we're going we're gonna to come back with this. We're going to go to FDR Park and facts. resurrect it all. You know what I mean? Facts. That's going to be fun. Make sure they know who you are, you know, facts. when we introduce you. Yeah. So, so when I was doing those ciphers, my plan was to, like, obviously, like I said, and work and go to the studio and make music with you guys, people mm -hmm. like that, from every town that I linked with. Like, I was picking my personal favorites on top of what people were voting for mm -hmm. as far as who I continued with, like Mozzie. There's a couple obvious examples, but a couple on the low that people forget about that are fucking monsters. But yeah. the whole point, that that was literally yeah, the whole... Jada won the Berlin joint. Yeah. No, you were... You, well, there was two rounds in that. Yeah, Jada and Advantage made the finals. Yeah. So shout out to them. And you they know. were in the main round with Cash, RIP, and Jimmy. Yeah, they all, all my guys got voted in. Rest in peace, Cash, man. They definitely were in the missed same my main boy. main round together, too. Yeah, definitely. That was but that was great, man. What I'm saying is, like, I did, it popped so quick before viral was viral. You know, I didn't even have a Twitter, yeah. and Camden Cypher was trending on Twitter. So I didn't realize what happened. But within that year, after five points, I got a buzz and just rode that fucking wave. And like I said, partied. I was a young boy. I was 20 years old. I, yeah. I just partied my ass off. And before I knew it, a year and a half, two years had gone by. <laughs> hadn't done many ciphers. And the music, the genres, and the way technology has changed so fast in those from 2012. It's unbelievable, we all, right, bro. It's almost too much remember, to catch up with. The world was supposed to end in 2012. Much. Yeah, <laughs> like this. So we went really fucking hard because yeah. the planets aligned up for we the first time. Like there was no tomorrow. Yeah, but like, no, that's like what we real. did. It's and exactly real. And we, what we did every single day. And I don't regret a second of it. But I do. I'm very aware of the opportunities that I didn't take advantage of because I was clouded by yeah the people I thought I wanted around me and shit like that. So, so understanding and comprehending all of that 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 situation happened. It led me to the connection with Jimmy D's full circle at mm -hmm. Ethic. So my South Jersey ciphers. That's my man Ray. Yeah, Ray's the shit. Um, the fact that it's at a time where rapping, rapping isn't really popular, and how we linked up, and I just kind of morphed my South Jersey ciphers into Ethic ciphers mm -hmm. for now. Until people are ready. People are ready. I see people doing a certain town ciphers. I see y'all doing votes and stuff. And I've spoken with those people who do it. And it's an open dialogue. Like, I pretty much planted the seed and gave them the okay to do it. So anybody who does that in Jersey, I get tagged in it. Like, 
fucking 50 times and it's so much love and that's the respect and the reason i did the ciphers mm -hmm. besides the fact of connecting and being stingy and working with who i wanted to work with yeah. it was for that to like yo no one's doing this i'll do it no one's throwing shows with good acts on it and different genres i'll do it you know that was the reason so definitely with, were man you, you you, so, were the, you were the guy for that. Like, that's it. I'll and that, it. I didn't even want to be that guy. I wanted to just perform and dance. That's the thing. Yeah. You know, so. In spot out in Jersey, it's out, out, out down the shore, you know. Mm -hmm. And that's just, just the, the thing. That, like, was just, yeah, it, it was crazy, dude. The way, th the way things come together, go fall. Come together, fall apart. Oh, yeah, come together, fall it apart. brings us right here to where we're at. Where we're, so that's why the, I wanted to have a combo with specifically you, like, yeah. here. Because you've Perfect. never even been here. But it's a staple in the energy of what has been grasped and, yeah, and exactly. connected through these Long things. time coming, though, man, for sure. For real. You know, lives happen. People, you know, mm -hmm. engage. Speaking of lives, baby. how's yeah. your baby, dude? Oh, she's great, man. Sadie Lynch, man. She's she's something else. Everybody says that when they have a baby, like, every, it changes instantly. Is that true? Yeah, oh, my God. My whole world is it's just, I just live a different life. You know, I live a different life. Like, different... It's crazy, you know. It's just nuts, man. It's just I just want her to do. She does have y'all eyes too, like. Crazy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. She she's gonna be. I'm in trouble, man. That's all I could say with her. But she's a great baby, bro. One of the best. What do you want her to be? I mean, she likes watching the UFC, man. It's weird. She wants it's to be crazy. A fighter, I don't know. She just. I can't explain it, bro. For like, I feel it. I feel like <laughs> she's gonna want to do it. I That's don't know. Awesome. I might That's be awesome. wrong. I might be real wrong. <laughs> but I fire. feel like. I feel like she's going to want to get into it. As much as me and like her Uncle Bob watch it, you know, mm -hmm. my man Bishop, as much as we watch it every Saturday night, you know, like we skipped this Saturday, but of course, but, mm -hmm. but yeah, we watch it every Saturday mm -hmm. night, you know, it's just like, I don't know, that's what I feel for her, but I just wanted to do what I didn't, you know, in life or what I didn't do, yeah, what I didn't do, you mm -hmm. know, I, mean, I want her to do, you Facts. know. Uh, you know what I slacked on. I don't want her to slack on. I'm gonna teach her that. Just don't Obviously. do what I do. Yeah, you're gonna you know? be a great dad. You're She's gonna, gonna be yeah. her ass though. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, you but are. she. Yeah, she. She got a great mom too. Like, uh -huh. she's gonna be a good kid, man. Like, I really, I'm, I'm happy. That's about why it. it's so weird. Like, it's weird to say it is because we're still, we still just want to rage, and we clearly can't. Yeah, using, not at all. You giving John a stunner as an example. Oh man! So was... we just shot a video. And we all had to reenact um, wrestlers, and I was Scotty Too Hotty. He was Stone, Stone Cold Steve Austin. So give mm. us a little rundown. Yeah, man. Of what that is. Uh, shot the DJ Welch. True Welch came up with the Max, idea. Up, yeah, Welchy was like, "Yo, man, let's do a wrestling match," and I'm like hearing it for the first time, like, "What? For real? Like a wrestling match?" So then I actually got a ring, man. Shout out to my man Mike Tover mm -hmm. and Clay My Delaware, uh, Ultimate Academy Wrestling. The first lesson is always free. Shout out to him. Uh, he was like, man, yeah, you can come do it. You that know, place just, is awesome. Dude. Just explain what's going on. And we just walk into a room with this ring. And it was just a free for all from there, and like, <laughs> you was. know. So we, we, we uh, as his little kids, I've wanted to be a wrestler. There's, it was there's definitely like an a age dream. And ten years older. You're like, all right, fuck it. But no, nah, I've always, everybody wanted to be a fucking wrestler. So yeah. I never stepped in a ring, a real one. So when I like felt the bounce and heard the sound of just, it was, it was so. It was a dream come fun. true, dude. It was, it was, it was, a, it was a fun video. And we just seen the preview. God damn. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's a one verse seven, you know, see, anybody can get it, you know. So shout out to True Welsh Media. Yeah, wow, that's all I can say is wow. Fire, bro. That shit looks really A lot of people fire. don't like it. It's going to get a lot of views. Trust so let's me. talk about uh, how how bad your back hurt from the last move. And it's always the last move. Yeah, it's funny. In the video, watch my face, man. When I, when I, when I stone called the big show. The big show? Yeah, when, this, when the big show the gets big stunner, guy. dude. Stunned. Look at my face. But, <laughs> Freeze but yeah, that. so I mean, what, what, do, what do I think about the, the album? Or what did you say? Everything, yeah. That video, uh, oh, and that, what is it for? Uh, it's for the album, right? Yeah, yeah. The video is on the Man of the House project. Um, it dropped September 17th of last year, and it's been... I, mean, I got a lot of streams on it. It's the best I've ever done with an album. It's got my dad on it, you know what You're, I mean? No, I've been watching your numbers go up the last year and a half because you just stopped giving a fuck about the content yeah. as far as subjects that you're rapping about. Exactly. You're like, yeah. fuck it. I think this. I'm doing it. It's that's just, it. That's the whole point of it. Like I was saying, the little that's bit it. of rebellion. Yeah, you know, like, and, and, I, and I had my dad on the album with the voicemails and... Fuck yeah. Man of the house, dude. The album's crazy. The videos, we have the visuals. Anybody can get it is on there, mm -hmm. you know, so that... 
We're just trying to get people awesome. to listen to that album, man. And that's what you know. That's the, that's what I'm living by. You know, I got I got a lot of other things happening. I'm trying to put out content bugs this year. I'm trying to be the man with the most with a lot of content. Mm-hmm. That's so, what it's about, man. Like cause that's I was on the on like just dropping music, music, music. Right now, I'm just worried about dropping visual shit so people yeah. can see me because the thing that me and, and the only way included, we're live. Cyphers live. Shows live. 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 I'm a live person kind of guy. Yeah. So that doesn't mean I can't be fucking online and shit. I just prefer hugging people and shit. Yeah. No, so I feel you. obviously COVID, everything that before this though, I was like, yo, I have fucking six videos. I've been doing this shit for a long time. Mm-hmm. I got six videos. Yeah. Yeah. So feels nah, good, man. Yeah, feels I dropped, good. To I dropped have six videos. videos in a month last month. Yeah. Bro. Yeah. Like, that's that's the difference between now. It's dope, man. And that and, and that's then. it's all about putting content out, you know, visuals, like you said. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I got twenty singles dropping that aren't a part of any projects. Uh, I'm on number eight right now throughout the year. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be cool. I'm on number eight right now, about to drop on the 17th, 16th, 16th. And we're working on the Mask Off mixtape series, man. Mask Off, it's, it's, it's my political album. Uh, I get to talk my shit. This is what I want to hear. All right. So let's (laughs) talk about your political songs. Like, yeah. RPG Money Payroll, man. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. That's a crazy situation. Y'all did a song. Called coronavirus. Called coronavirus, and what y'all were both like, both aspects of it. Yeah, pretty much. Both yeah, I was, I was the on the right, he was on the left, pretty much. Word. That's how you got to put it nowadays, people. It's nothing else. It's right or left. Yeah, and I it's just been the see, I just been swimming in gray, and that's what. Or I there's realized. people in the middle that just. No, but that's what I realize is people like they need you to pick a side, and if you don't, then you're just. You're kind of, it's not even in a gray. You're not even. I was just born on the right. I don't judge though. Yeah. I'm one of them cool well, no, right dude, guys. We're all conservative as far as heart goes, like brain goes. As far as heart goes, we're all liberal. Like we all agree on shit. There's just certain things. I don't really want to get into politics. Yeah, no, no, like, no doubt. I like letting the, well, we're going to talk all about I can it say now. Is the, no, because it's in your music. Yeah. So the thing, thing with me is anything political, you'll hear me talk about it in a song. I'm never going to yeah. spout I'm out I'm tired shit. of going to Facebook jail, Bugs. Yeah, I'm Facebook so fucking jail. tired. I watch it I'm tired day. of it, man. I'm like, here they come. Every day, man. Like, <laughs> yeah, I was getting ridiculed, like losing friends over the shit. Dude. I'm done losing friends over the fucking side. I'm, I'm on the right. Well, this is the thing, I make too, music like, about no it. That's it. No matter how deep of a rabbit hole you go on either side you at the end of the day you're like okay one i'm not going to change none of this shit because mm-hmm. i'm not going to none of these protests and being caught up in the crossfire of false flags and shit whatever mm-hmm. you want to call it two i just want to dance and make music so you Facts. just gotta dance and rage eat, bro. Eat, eat fruit rage you get healthy healthy is gangster yep. bro so that's the cool thing now <laughs> Whereas, like, it wasn't cool to, like, get fucked up back. That's not... I wasn't glorifying getting fucked up. I was glorifying the party, the mm-hmm. the bringing people together. Mm-hmm. If you notice, like, I'll be super energetic, all the ciphers and shows and shit, but I'm not drinking during those. Like, those are the days I'm sober, which is funny. It's like, yeah. I throw this shit so I can party, right? Yeah, no like, doubt. today, for an example, like, I'm not gonna... I'm just gonna be playing drums mostly, because it's hard to drum when you're drunk, dude. No, no, yeah. It's I, like, it's... I, I thought it was fun in the beginning, drumming drunk. Like, when I was young, young, I was like, oh, I can do it because I was It's hard to band. really catch it, I'm yeah. playing rock band, and then I was like, all right, now nah, I can't do that shit at all. Yeah, you I mean, perform drunk? You like getting drunk? Uh, sh- no, nah, I had a lot of little slip-ups when I was with two of a kind drunk, so I was like, I'm good. What do you, you mean, know? like forgetting lyrics? No, nah, I'm just not delivering how I want to deliver. I'll never forget the lyrics, man. Energy or just like running out of breath to not say Running shit. out of breath, energy, yeah. just not a good performance on my part, but... You know, I still always turn up. You know me, mm-hmm. man. I just break out yeah, in the see, show. Like, that's the thing. I'm I'm such a stoner. I get stoned every single day. And the days of shows, I don't... I, like, I fast the night mm-hmm. before into it. I only drink mad water so I can, like, really be in tune with, like, the... It's not nervousness. I don't call it nerves because I don't get nervous. It's mm-hmm. not a scared. I'm not anxious in a, that way. I'm, like... Wow, this is what I'm supposed to do. You, you know that feeling yeah. that it gets there, and then you're like, "Am I about to do this? Oh, I'm about to do this. I'm about to fucking shit on them." And then you do it. That whole thing, I need to fully feel it. I don't want to have any amped up from alcohol or nothing. I love that. It's it's everyone needs to feel it, bro. It's like it's it's you can't explain yeah. it when you're on stage and you actually pull off what you wanted to do. Because we're perfectionists, so no matter what, we're gonna be yeah. like, "Ah, I could have did this and that better," but. There's nothing better than that feeling of running shit. And it's not about being the center of attention. 
It's Ooh. about connecting, and once you line that synergy up of everybody in the room that doesn't know you, it's like a, it's it's hard to explain. Yeah, no, nah, it's, it's mean, a natural connection that people don't have to speak. That's why I play drums because you don't have to, I don't have to speak. I'm a rapper, but on that I don't have to say. You don't have to say nothing. You're in the back. Word. You're behind the scenes with it. Yeah. My thing is, uh, I had that. I just had that in October, man. Last year, I won a thousand dollars at a performance in Philly. Oh yeah! Nobody knew me. Let's talk about competition, rap competition. Let's go, yeah. Because because I've done like two or three of them, and I don't like doing them because they're always like, yeah, you know, they're gonna give that shit to the wrong person. And you are someone I've witnessed that should have won like fucking at least seven of them, dude. Yeah. And all of them got given to someone else that was not nearly nowhere near as good. And the ones that I did, I'm not biased, but like I definitely won every. Like even the judges told me I won, yeah. but they gave it to someone else. Oh yeah, else, I remember. Or they wanted to split it, and I was like, nah. So they gave it to like, a, but the person they gave it to that time, shout out Amino Guns. That's one specific time. Yeah. That's the only time I was like, all right, Amino. I, he was like my favorite yeah. fucking rapper. Two, like, that's what I'm saying. So. Chester and shit. Yeah, he's in the cipher. He'll be there that day with you. Max, let's go. You get to see him. Yeah. So we we got shit coming too. We got a couple yeah. Songs oh yeah. On Trust time. me, I know. So. So when that fucking happened, bro, it was, dude, it's just funny how all this shit is connected in these ways. Yeah, like it, was but, to, it was good to win, But when that shit man. happened, I was like, oh, wow, I know I won that, bro. And I, I at that time, I needed that 500 bucks for something. For a bill, that, I, that was that time. was the, that was my man Ed that, uh, that did your competition. Yes, yeah, so I was like, oh, Santana wow. did my one. It was a different one that I did in Philly from a New York company. Mm-hmm. So what's the one you just won? So you actually no, won though? Yeah, nonstop. Like- it was nonstop ENT Superstar Saturdays. Freeway was the judge. Mm-hmm. And it was a packed out club. Freeway is the shit, man. He popped out. It was crazy. One of my ciphers at Ethic. Yeah, Freeze the man. He bro. showed love. Like Freeway really. Uh, is the it, shit. it was a sold out we crowd. We don't have dude. any OGs like that, but Philly is st- Philly kind of is breeding a lot yeah. of good OGs. Like oh yeah, Philly and them like a nope. lot of OGs that actually care and are talking yeah. back to motherfuckers. So mm-hmm. That's what we need and shit. Exactly. Fucking, um, so it felt good that I win that joint, man. You know. So what's your fucking goal with? With the political album, do you just want to get your point across? Do you want to? It's only two songs, actually. Everything else is kind of me speaking my piece, but not about gut. Still having real topics like that real American goes through, kind of. That's how I'm looking at it. Uh, Well, it's Mask Off Freedom that's about to drop on 420. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much, yeah, I'm talking about shit. That's right when you're. No. That's in a fucking. We got the website dropping for twenty two. Yeah, we got the website dropping. We got everything ready, man. We're good to go. We're ready to drop. Uh, Mask off freedom is is definitely me speaking my piece. Mask off independence. If you hear it, independ. So I'm gonna be really getting lyrical and showing my rap skills. Uh, And number three is justice, and that's just the hardest raps that you ever heard. Let's go. But then I'm going right into Corona Limon. uh, Start off the year twenty twenty two. So. It just brings people back down, you know? It's like, it's going to be nice. I mean, I got a lot of shit coming. Everything's scheduled out, ready to go. That's what it is, dude, because last year I just I, I just dropped all the music because this year I planned on doing nothing but visuals. So next year I'll get back to dropping shit and yeah. I'm just making shit. And I have like fucking three, 400 songs. Like yeah. It's retarded how many uh-huh. I have. And they're all different genres, but I want to do I want to paint the visual now. So since that, I've made so much music. I know you have too. It's interesting now because I'm directing everything that I do too. So trying to make music now is not as fun to me. Now I have to, I want to come up with a visual idea and make a song for the scene that I want to paint. So yeah. it's different. So exactly. so you're instead doing, of me you're doing just, a video first. Yeah, instead of me like just pulling out whatever words are in my soul, I'm pulling out the visuals of how I feel, and then I'll write around it. Whereas I was doing the words first. And then everything else after. Yeah. So I'm like kind of flipped it. It's like a full circle fucking situation. Full circle. It's gnarly. So we that got your works. cipher coming up. We got yeah, my man. John coming up. I like I, have a- I like how we're doing, man. We're sitting, we're dropping like a BT type. Everybody's in their group. Yes. It's gonna be a networking event. It's you're gonna be almost like a vote b- or anything. Are you? It's just you're just doing it. They could just do it on the side, whatever you want to do. We ain't really gonna have a voting system. I mean, we might. We're, we're talking over with the staff, but it's. It, I you know I had to get you in it rapping. With definitely some vets, you know, you, Ratchet Rab, Lil Psycho, my man Blessa, and Stevie Franks. You guys got a real nice beat, real nice. It's going to be nice. I'm so, excited uh, for it. It's going to be nice, man. So, so um, rap lines matter. So I want to take a little break real quick. We're going to 
show a clip of the fucking wrestling video. Okay. That's what we'll show. We'll show that. We'll be right back. Yeah. Everybody want to know what's in my bag. Anybody can get it. Anybody. Anybody can get it. Anybody can get it. Anybody can get it. Anybody. Anybody. Anybody can get it. Anybody can get it. Anybody can get it. Tired of being Mr. Nice Guy. And I'm quick to turn my back if the price high. Sooner the Buddha for war. I got the right ties. Anybody can get it. It feels like I've been sick for a lifetime. Because last time they put me in the quarantine, they told me me to act accordingly when cannibal mode fuck with me and you'll have more to eat you loving life than just adore the feast you just formed the beast and anybody can all right that was that this is this man thank you so much for coming yeah. before we go love it man no worries i have one question and i have to do this with everyone but i have to uh-oh all right if you had to fight to the death could you do it with this. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think I could. How would you do it? I mean, definitely the hardest end to the throat. To the throat? To the throat. As hard as I could. Just this to the throat? To the throat and just jam it. Just jam just it. jamming it? Jam it as hard with all my might, my power behind it. Because the I feel person like you're I could... fighting can only use this as well. Okay, that's perfect. Oh, that's, that's so, what I'm saying. So definitely I'll start off with like a mean flip and then bam, bam, and then just keep it jamming. It might break, so you might have to just... Sorry, yeah. All right, you're right. But if it jams on the corner, hit him with the corner, you know? Mm, 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 like, I dig it. Come on. You know what I mean? Look. All right, that is pretty hard, bro. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. So that's what I would do right to the throat, to, to the, the throat, to the eyeballs, everything that's going to hurt somebody. Yeah, to the eyes and the throat. If I had to fight to the death. Yeah. <laughs> right, Good dude. question, man. He will survive with a baby Breslin fucking tape, bro. That's Craig Lynch. That's wild. I'm Buggy. We're going to yeah. do some dope live shit. We're going to have some other shit. I might connect it to this. Might do it in another link. I don't know, but we got a lot more coming, man. Um, yep. I want to cut this podcast short because I want to fucking go fucking oh, yeah. rage. Oh, yeah. We have to Play rage. Music, so. I got to get home to the baby, to the we wife. We got it, dude. <laughs> Shout out to the baby and the F- wife, man. Thank you, man. Shout, follow me, man. Craig Lynch we underscore love 100. Man. Craig Lynch underscore 100. The website, CraigLynchRaps.com. Facts. Drops 420. And Mask off. Freedom. In the comments, type how you would su- you would survive a fight to the death with this. Goodbye. <laughs> Fun. That's so fun, dude.